Hey, what's going on everybody? Dog trainer, behavior technician Drayton Michaels here to talk to you about some sessions I did with a dog named Rudy. Rudy is a Bernie Doodle. He's a year and a half. Rudy has leash reactivity as reported by his people and another trainer who recommended me take over the case. Rudy reacts at people, dogs, traffic, and sounds. So he has all four levels of potential reactivity on his stimulus list. In the first session with Rudy, he was a little shy and didn't want me to reach for him or put my leash onto his harness. So we had his guardian, Nicholas, take the reins and walk him and have him on leash. So I did the training, he did the handling. This made the training a little bit cumbersome and the results would have been much better had I had him on leash. However, we needed to do what would be best for Rudy and he wasn't really fond of me reaching for him or having my leash put on his harness. So we just let his guardian do the leash walking portion and I did the counter conditioning and the training. He went over threshold a little bit due to some eye contact from another dog and we were getting data, trying to mitigate our distance and figure out how to best approach this. So that's why things kind of fell apart a little bit. I'd say he scored an 85 out of 100. Let's take a look. Um, so which way do you walk, this way? All right, let's go this way, wherever you normally walk. Yep, it's all good, wherever you normally go. Looks a little distracted by me. Yeah, you having a good time? Yeah, how you doing? You doing good? You gonna get you some pee-pees? You gonna go do some pee-pees and smells? Yeah, you can smell me up, bro. Yes! Okay, come on, bud. So I might just mark and pay him, right? And just let you hold the leash. We'll see. He looks like he's warming up to me, though. So while he's smelling, keep your eyes peeled, right? Don't worry about him, right? Watch, uh, watch him in intermittently, but you know, while he's peeing, his head's on the ground. Take a look at the environment. Yes, right. So he's popping right off that marker, and I'm marking and paying him for me. Yeah, I smell like doggies, kid. Good job, buddy. Yep, I smell like dogs. Am I gonna distract you from the environment? Hi, what's going on? Yeah, I'm your new friend. Yes. So whatever he saw over there, I just marked and paid him for it. There, birdies. Okay, let's go. Come on. Of course, we probably won't see anything, right? <laughs> the good thing about your uh, place, though, is you've got good sight lines. You know, there's not a lot of blind corners. Your smells, kid. There's like a few pads in between the houses that people walk down sometimes, and those are like the real, like, okay, sharp don't do that. It's gonna fuck you up, man. It's gonna hurt you. Put your hand through, there you go, through the loop. And if anything, yeah, walk up the leash to shorten it, right? And my advice is have a short leash until you can have a long one. Like, I would have maybe a foot of leash because if you're closer to him, you get the food to him quicker, and also you can control him if he starts to lose it, right? Be a lot easier to control him on six inches at least than six feet. All right, so you got the DHL guy over here. Let's go over here. We got a person over there. I'm your new best friend now. You like me? Okay. Okay. Hi. How are you? Yes. Yeah. Distance is your number one parameter. So even though you've got, wait him out. Might see the DHL guy. Let's come on. Let's walk. Come this way, buddy. Follow me. See how it's cumbersome for him to walk with this on the side like that? That's why I like it on the back, right? Up. 
let's go to the middle right so don't walk him on these sidewalks close to where people come out walk him over here where you've got a lot of space right avoid stuff like that stay over here Okay. Oh, there's all the dogs and the people. Too hot, maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, definitely gonna play into that for sure. See how helpful it would be to have him on your waist right now, though, right? Yeah. Well, again, you know, like he's gonna hurt your arm one day, buddy. You gotta watch that stuff. Drop it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got to keep keep the leash in front of you and use both hands or at least one hand wrapped up. Try not to let him pull around like that because he's definitely strong. Right? What's going on? You can't have a back clip? You get scared? So you might get this UPS truck. Just wait a sec. Yes! Okay, so he just popped off the marker. Yes! Popped off the marker. Yes! Yes! Wait for the guy to come out. See how I stopped paying? Right? We got a person coming here with a DOG. Right? Just stay right where you're at. Just stay right where you're at. Yes! Shorten your leash, buddy. Shorten your leash. Shorten your leash. Yes! 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 Leave it! Yes! Leave it! Yes! Leave it! Whoop whoop! Yes! Yes! He's taking food now. There's another turkey. Oh, there's the turkey pep. Yes! Popped off the marker. Yes! Popped off the marker. Yes! Popped off the marker. Trying to get this turkey pep that fell in here. Leave it! All the way! Stand still. Don't move your feet. Don't move your feet. Yes! Yes! See how I'm dropping that to break the gaze? Leave it! Yes! Use your... Leave it! Whoop, whoop. Leave it. Whoop, whoop. Leave it. Whoop. Leave it. You're okay. You're okay. Shorten the leash all the way up. Shorten the leash all the way up. Drop the poop back. Drop the poop back. Yes. 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 So we had a duration build up. That was the problem. We were getting eye contact. Move with me this way. Don't worry about the poop bag. We'll come back and get it. Move with me this way. See, we're going to leave it. We're going to use the uh, blocking there. Leave it. Yes. See how I'm talking? I'm like a coach. Leave it. Whoop, whoop. Right? We're going to get another trial right here. Stay right here. Keep that leash short. Yes. Wait him out, wait him out. Yes! Leave it! Whoop, whoop. Move your feet. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Leave it! Yes! Leave it! Let's go! Whoop. Leave it! Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. This way. This way. Right, see, again, this is what I mean by people have no concept of dog etiquette, right? Like this lady, walk with me this way. Like she obviously knows we have a reactive dog. So instead of like going over there, she walks right at us. Leave it. What we need is distance. So yeah, he went over threshold, but that's just because I'm evaluating and getting, yes, I'm getting data, right? We kept him under threshold for the little white dog 
We kept him under threshold for the UPS guy, but that dog was too close and that dog was giving us eye contact. All right, let's head back, come on. Let's go. Let him go here and smell where that dog was. Keep your leash short, keep your leash short. All right, let's get you back, buddy. Well, we got some data, that's for sure. And I think that if we, if, if now that I have my idea of what the distance is, I would have been able to mitigate that. If I had had him on leash, I would have been able to move quicker. But look, he responded to the mark and pay and he responded to the leave it, right? So he, he's by all means not a lost cause. He took food the, the whole time, other than like that 10 seconds where the dog was too close giving us eye contact. And eye contact from dogs makes a lot of dogs go over threshold. But I would say, if we were, if we were grading on 100, I would say he got an 85.